class we had resistance and um, support you are saying that um, as the market moves to your direction you adjust your stop loss and my question is as you're adjusting your stop loss do you still adjust the take profits Take profit is fixed. You can okay. adjust your stop loss. Adjusting your stop loss helps reduces your risk of that trade. Okay. Let's say maybe your initial risk of the trade is 50 pips and the market has gone in your direction like 40 pips. You don't want to wait okay. for the market to retrace back and hit your stop loss at 50 pips when the market has gone in your direction 40 pips. So you have to reduce your risk by adjusting your stop loss. Say like 40 pips uh, above your entry level. Okay. Let me use the chart to explain. Let me see. Okay, for example, now let's say I start I started selling Euro USD from this at the close of this characteristic. At the close of this characteristic, if I decide to start selling Euro USD, if I set my stop loss. My stop loss, I will set it at this level. Let's say the high of this. Can you see my chart? No, it's blank. Okay, I'm seeing it now. Okay, so let's say um, So, welcome, Miss Victoria. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening. So, if I decide to take a trade from this entry point, let's say, now this, uh, um, this Victoria, the question is, uh, in the last class I talked about adjusting your take profit as the market, sorry, adjusting your stop loss as the market mm. keeps moving in your direction. That's okay. a question from, uh, from Mrs. Peace. Okay. The question is, should should you or uh, is would you have to adjust your your take profit to since you're adjusting your your stop loss i said you don't have to adjust your take profit your take profit can be fixed okay your take profit is fixed now reducing your your risk as in adjusting your stop losses to help reduce your risk on that trade that's why you're adjusting your stop loss for example now, I want to use uh, Euro USD. What we have on Euro USD now, for example, at the close of this candlestick, if I decide to sell Euro USD from this price, mm. I will set my stop loss somewhere around this level. That is 52 pips. Okay? Now, 52 pips, mm. if I can have gone your direction, this is almost 90 pips. Definitely, if you have took 50 pips here, you would have closed your trade here yeah, because your, your take profit from 50 pips trade is of 75 pips minimum. That's 75 pips. You can go for 80 pips, but the minimum is 75 pips. So definitely you have made your profit. You have closed this trade in profits. So as the market goes in your direction, let's say the market got to, go to this point, which is 50 pips. You don't want to leave your stop loss at this level because the market had already gone your direction 50 pips. So you don't want to leave your stop loss at this level. So since the market has got your direction into it, you adjust your stop loss from where it was, probably to this new high, maybe 10 pips above this candlestick, because the market has gone your direction 50 pips. 
So if the market retraces from that 50 pips and decide to go back up, you will not lose on that trade. The worst is that the, place, the trade will close at uh, zero profit. Okay, that is better than the market okay. going back to hit your stop loss at this level. Mm. A trade that has gone in your direction of 50 pips, you wait for it to go back and hit your, your stop loss and you lose 50 pips on that, on that trade. It doesn't make sense. Okay. That's why you have to adjust your stop loss as the market is going in your direction. Okay. Okay. So, for example, now we said this is our entry point, right? This is our entry yes. point on, and this is where we set our stop loss on 15 minutes, on one hour, it's at the same level. Now, the market has gone down this to this point. Now, if you want to adjust your stop loss, now let's see what we have. I don't recommend 15 minutes, but let's just see what. If I want to adjust my stop loss when the market got to this level, I will look at 15 minutes. There should be, uh, I expect to see a zigzag somewhere around this level of 15 minutes. If there's a zigzag at this level of five minutes, sorry, then I can adjust my stop loss to that level. Let me go to five minutes and see if there's a zigzag at that level. Can you see that? Yes. There's a zigzag at this level. So if I want to adjust my stop loss from this level, this is the next level. I can just set it like 10 pips above this level. You see that? Yes. So that is how you adjust. Always look for a zigzag level. Either on 15 minutes. The least time frame I recommend is the lowest time frame is 15 minutes. But if you can't find on 15 minutes, if the market has gone your direction like 50 pips and your initial risk on that trade is 50 pips, just go down to five minutes. Locate for the locate the nearest exact le level above or below a candlestick and set your stop loss like 10 or 20 pips above that level. Okay. 20 pips maximum, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other question? Any other question, Mr. Kenneth? Please unmute yourself. It is about that um, F. What do you call it? FXCM. You asked us to download FXCM. You asked okay. us to download. I downloaded it today. Okay. So as I was looking for um, the zigzag, I saw these um, pivot points. But they were two. One one was talking about the averages, so I didn't really know the one to use. So I decided to try it out. Then the other one, they drew a line on the chart, so I removed it because I knew the one you were talking about was just a vertical and um, a horizontal line. So I said, maybe let me leave the one you. Got. You know how to plot the horizontal and vertical line, right? Uh, they just plot it for you. In that one, because I when I I don't I, I I don't recommend the pivot point indicator that is on that on that one. Yeah. I don't recommend it. You don't need that pivot or point or indicator. Because I don't even understand it. You don't need it. No, it's actually you choose the you can change the parameters if you want the indicator to plot your daily pivot for you. It will do that for you. But if you look at the way we do our analysis, we can't work with that indicator. Mm. You get it. You can't work with it because if you only plot okay. the daily pivot for you, and it's not the daily pivot. If you switch to four hour, the candlestick that we use for our pivot point analysis of four hour is not the candlestick that will be used if you use that indicator. Okay. That indicator will work with the correct four hour candlestick, the recent candlestick that just closed. That is. That is what the that indicator will work with. It will give you the value of the current for our candlestick. You see now, and that's not the candlestick we are supposed to use when we are doing our pivot analysis. So you don't need that that indicator. Okay. Okay. So what you did is just the zigzag. Then you need to know how to plot the vertical line and the horizontal mm -hmm. line on the chart. That is all you need. And I think in okay. that video, I showed you how to do that. No, I know how to plot the lines. 
on the FXM platform, right? Yes. And that's all you need. You don't need the indicators. Mr. Kenneth. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Do you have any question from previous class? Uh, for now, I don't have because I need to. I need to watch all the videos. I just came in today, so. Today is supposed to be our last class. By next week, we should start trading on the demo account. Uh, I that need to watch said, the. Old... That was what I said in the last class. I wasn't at the last class though. Uh, I dropped the videos so that you. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw several videos. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. This is Victoria. Please unmute yourself. If you can hear me, unmute yourself. Let me take your questions. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yeah, my question is based on the support and resistance. Okay. Yes. Actually, I want to know the support and resistance. You know, in pivots, we we'll check the pivot value of the daily time frame and the uh, four hours yeah. before making my entry in each one. Okay. So when it comes to this support and resistance, we have which time frame I'm going to use it. Is it on daily, four hour, or the one hour? I recommend weekly, daily, and four hour. Okay, weekly, daily, daily and, and four, four hour. hour. So where do we place our if support? You trader, and... If you are a day trader, you work with the daily. If you want to be trading right. daily, you work with the daily time frame. Okay. For example, now let me look at what we have on on Euro. You can see what we have on Euro USD at the moment. Yeah. Now, if this candlestick closes bearish, if it closes bearish, this point becomes your resistant level on daily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Now, if you go down to four hour, the resistant level on four hour differs from the daily. Yeah. This is the resistant level. Exactly. On four, four hour. hour. So you have the daily on the four and the four hour. So now if you want to trade with this, now you can decide that you can wait for four hour candlestick to close in between. If four hour candlestick closes in between, you can enter a buy. Okay. You see it now. So this will be like your um buy zone. Let me insert some. I just plot this place as your area oh. zone where you enter your, your what's it called? Your path. Is it can we call it resistance zone? Uh, yeah, we can say resistance zone or buy zone. Okay. Uh, let me Okay. So you just wait for four hours to close above. Now, if you look at this candlestick, this is a bearish candlestick. If four hour candlestick can close above this level, that okay. means it has engulfed this bearish candlestick. That's an engulfing pattern. Okay. You see now. So if it's enter if a, if a bullish candlestick, a four hour candlestick closes above this 